Hi, welcome back to Allie's Space to Craft. And today I, I didn't feel like doing a, one of my layout kits, but I had some um, leftover white cardstock from a couple of previous pages um, that I made. And I decided that I wanted to do some ink blending and make some card bases. Um, one of the ladies that I was crafting with in the dining room had been she does a lot of cards really intricate beautiful cards and the other day she was ink blending and it sort of motivated me to do some ink blending it had been a while since i did it so all i had was daubers i hadn't brought my brushes but she very kindly lent me her brushes and i um, was looking at what colors i wanted to do all i i don't have my oxides which do a great job of blending i only had inks and regular cardstock so the blending probably isn't quite as creamy as it could be but it did come out really nicely so i'm going to do kind of some sunset colors on this first one and starting with, um, I think it's picked raspberry, my darkest pink. And then I'm going to do um, an orange. I'm gonna start in the middle of that section and then work my way up so that I can then blend those colors a little bit together. Let me make sure I'm giving you all the right um, colors. And so what I did was I did the pink first and then I did the orange slightly up into the pink and then went back in with more pink. And um, on the video it looks a little blotchier honestly than it did in real life let's see the orange that I'm using is spiced marmalade and the pink is picked raspberry and the yellow is mustard seed so I'm just I'm going over the each one multiple times just to get good blending between the colors and um, good good coverage. I will trim um, these cards when I go to make um, the actual cards. So toward the end of this video, the last quarter of it, I actually finished building the cards out of at least two of the bases. I ended up using three, making three bait card bases. Um, and so you will get to see at least two of those turned into a card and the other one I'm just going to keep for later. So these are some pretty sunny sunset looking pages. I'm gonna set that off to dry. And then the next one I decided I would do more monochromatic. So I'm pulling out my different pinks and I have picked raspberry kitsch flamingo and saltwater taffy and this one i wanted to do the ombre the gradient darkest from the center and then out toward both edges with the other colors so i'm starting with the picked raspberry here in the center And this ends up um, making a really pretty sort of monotone card. So I'm using the same brush, um, just wiping it off. I figured it's, it's working fine. This color is, was still pretty close to the other one, but it all helps, it helps with the blending, that's for sure. And this is sped up at 3.4 times, so I figured you didn't need, I just was checking that the, since this is a very light color, I didn't want to contaminate it too much. And this um, saltwater taffy has a little bit more orange in it, as you can see. Okay. 
and you could do the same thing if you had a bunch of oranges that you liked and you could start with crackling campfire in the middle then the spiced marmalade and then even the saltwater taffy toward the end <laughs> So you can see I got it a little bit dark there at the bottom, so I'm going to um, brighten up that center. So I'm just going for kind of a soft monochromatic look. I'm happy with those. And then I decide that um, I'm going to, I'm looking to see if I have any scrap paper that would go on it. I really don't want to cover up all of the all of the ink blending, but I'm just looking for what can I do to finish out a card. Um, I pull out some stamps. And those are my watercolor crayons, which I have not used yet. I really want to play with those. <clears throat> and then the few dies that I brought with me. Remember, I'm, I'm on vacation, so I only have a few limited things with me. Well, I really liked this scalloped sort of fancy um, circle and so I'm going to get out my scout and then I have this hello it's from a 49 and market um, wordy bits um, I had intended to put it on there with the white and black I ended up getting some schmutz on it um, so you'll see how I handle that So I'm using my little scout, which is working out great. Just to make journal cards or things like that. And I have a new magic mat for that fits the scout too, so I'm happy with that. And I'm going to um, I'm going to use the the same picked raspberry, but because of those cuts, it really picks up the ink um, on that uh, little scalloped edge. So again, I'm still going for this little bit of a monochromatic look, but I still want this to stand out. So. I'll make that happen a couple of ways. And that is, so I realized I had some schmutz on there, so I'm just giving it a, a once over with the um, ink. Um, so that even that hello will be sort of monochromatic. And then I put the um, saltwater taffy in the center, and then I'm going to ink blend those together. And I wanted this to be a little bit darker than the um, than the center, you know, for it to catch a little more ink. So I'm just going over the very edges so that that scallop will really pop off the page, even though it's tone on tone. And as you can see, even though I'm using the same inks, it really does stand out. So the hello gets a little bit more. So I'm happy with that. And I'm going to work on the other card. Um, oh, and in the meantime, I'm going to let those dry before I stamp on them because I didn't want ink to run or anything like that. And I had the scallop circle that um, I had cut the scallop out of on that piece of paper. And so my friend loaned me her, so we were just talking about the cards, <coughs> deciding which one that Hello looked best on. So she loaned me, she had some mint tape. I forgot to bring mine, so I'm very glad she were, she had hers. I wasn't planning on doing this kind of thing that much. And then I'm going to ink blend and use the 
the off cut to um, a, as a as a template. I didn't bring any templates with me. She had some real pretty oval templates that she had been using when she did ink blending. So I decided I can do that. I can just cut my own template. So just making use out of out of what I've already created, really. So I'm going to do similar colors. This is the picked raspberry. So I set that aside and now I'm doing um, spiced marmalade in the center. going to blend those colors together a bit and voila now I don't turn this into a card yet but I do have a plan for that just kind of ran what I would really like to do is get another piece of cardstock and do the same color ink blending around the edges of the cardstock to use as a mat for this so that there's a little bit more color around the white. So that's my plan, my future plan for that. And when I do that, I will videotape it and you will see that one turn into a completed card. So at first I thought, okay, that's the end of the video and then I didn't want to stop. So I took my VersaFine Claire ink and a May May Made It Happy Birthday to You stamp and stamped straight onto that card base, which always makes me so nervous when you've spent time creating a card base and then you're going to stamp straight onto it. But it worked beautifully. The May May Made It stamps really do stamp nicely. All right, so that one's finished. And then I just have to trim it and glue it together. So I think at this stage I'm ready to complete the two cards. And there was a little bit of a water drop or something that got on that, a little light spot on that card. So I'm just going to position it so that the hello covers that little um, imperfection, if you will. And I had brought along some fun foam um, sheets. And so I decided to make use of that to give it some dimension. And that's the other way that I'm helping it just pop off the page a bit. And I pull out a, a long fold card base here and I'm just verifying my width. I'm gonna take a little off both top and bottom so that it's still centered. And then see how the fit is. A little bit of a trim. I decide it's a little too close top and bottom. So trim it a bit more. Now for both of these cards that I'm making, the one thing that I will do uh, probably after I get home is add some gems to it. I don't have all my gems here. I think I have more colors to choose from at home. So just to add a little bit of bling or sequins or something to both this card and the happy birthday to you card. I think they could both use a little little bling and that might just be sequins or something like that. So you'll get to see those in the um, monthly project um, review. Now this one I'm going to take all the length off the bottom 
because I, I feel like it has a little more um, yellow than it needs and that will help center that happy birthday toward the bottom so that it's not just front and center on the page. So thanks for watching you guys and come back for more content from my cruise.